Oh, no. Oh, is that ladies? Ladies. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop out one? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop out one? All right, moving on. That was the Hilton and you. Cool spot. Very cool spot. If you're in the area. Thanks for the beers, guys. Had a great time by the pool. And now the highlight of the golfing week, according to Justin, that is uh, Cotswold Downs. Cotswold Downs, what a great place. And that's beautiful, where we're heading. Beautiful golf course. And that's where we're heading. But I think before that, Justin wants me to basically clog my colon with some curry. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we where are we going? So we're off to the curry pot. Very, very famous institution here in Peter Marisburg, especially for hangovers. It's a small little curry den that does the best chip and cheese rotis uh, that you've ever had. We've seen it spruced up a little bit because there's some chairs outside that never used to be there when we were back here at Varsity. But if you ask any student about the curry pot, they will know. And so I'm going to introduce Ben to a little chip and cheese special. It wasn't quite the breakfast I was uh, thinking about, but warm to the touch, fresh. Mm. That was pretty good. <laughs> Main event. Two doubles. Chip and cheese roddy. Look at the steam coming off those bad boys. Oh. That's um, it's very tasty. Good. Eh? Wow. Hold <laughs> on. Okay. Wanna move my feet. Wanna drink my wine. Wanna drink my wine. Wanna drink my wine. Here we are, Cotswold Downs. As Justin said from the start, this is going to be the highlight of the golfing yep. experience for the tour. Our favorite course in KZN by far. Beautiful, beautiful out here. Although this tour is really becoming Justin's like nostalgic walk down memory lane because every, so everywhere we go he's got a story about how he got hammered here <laughs> he did that there and we got uh, two of his mates easy and Matt Matt yeah yeah uh, joining us today uh, Matt hasn't played golf in about three years and uh, I guess this is the wrong course to make a debut <laughs> yeah. but yeah this is like Cotswold Downs dude where are we going oh, to the first tee box are we on the right road okay well we'll eventually find the first tee box Slightly ropey first out with the speed zone, but the cool thing is it's a fully adjustable driver. So this weight over here, when you put it towards the back, it makes it more forgiving. And of course you can get the different sort of lofts over here. So I'm gonna need a little bit more loft, try and get the ball a little bit higher, a little bit straighter. And uh, You definitely need a trailer. I definitely uh, bring a lot of like hope and faith in that one. So yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Look at that. All different lofts. Maybe I should get a draw bias. Because yesterday I was pushing it. Okay, let's go for an extra one and a half degrees, which makes it 10 and a half, nice and forgiving, and put this weight towards the back. First time I left it, looks like a Ferrari. Gonna play like one today as well. <laughs> Loving the socks, Matt. Loving the Good, you gotta rock the socks, man. Oh! Two ladies, two ladies off the bat. On the 
fifth hole at Cotswold Downs, you get the chance to win a stack of cash for a hole in one. three is about as good as it gets. So much hang time because you're so high up. And then, uh, yeah, very nice little par. Justin and I both missed our birdies though. And I think this is where the camera kind of goes, goes back in the cart. You gotta concentrate on this course. There is like dead areas as in. Oh uh, fuck, it's not mine. I'll play it anyway. Running out of balls quickly. <laughs> you tug or push something and you, you finished. And uh, it's not really great filming weather here because it's a bit gloomy looking. But Cotswold Downs though, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the round now. Not so much the drinks afterwards though. Oh. I mean, I like drink drinking as much as the next person, unless the next person is Justin LaRue. Coming up in part 3, despite a big night out, we attempt 36 holes in one day by driving to the south coast to Mdoni before returning to beautiful Mount Edgecombe for the thrilling tour finale. Mm -hmm. 